Free Smiles, episode 172. It's been a minute, guys. It's been a minute since I've been on YouTube. What we have here, we have a 10x summons event going on for Dracomorph, Cavalex. As far as legendaries goes, Battle Bazaar, Chagger from Void Shards. Ooh, Eurogrim. It's kind of uh, interesting. Now, I don't really want these champions per se, or like desperately need them. But I kind of have to just summon anyways, because there is a fusion event going on at the moment. And... Okay, we, we've, we've actually been... We haven't been on in a while. Let's see what's going on here. Okay, I might as well just collect that, because it's probably going to run out before I get to use it. And we do have a Call the Arbiter trailer going on, and... There's some freebie rewards here, but I don't have to collect that just yet, so I'm kind of saving that in case I need that later. And, oh yeah, we won a CVC, guys. We finally won a CVC with uh, the legendary pieces for the reaction set. We've never had reaction or the, the, I don't think we've had this one either. The blood, what is it called? I don't remember. But I haven't had these with uh, legendary pieces yet. We joined a new clan. And we're, it's not a six star legendary piece, but it's still better than what we were getting before. So that's always good. Let me see what it was though. We got. Okay, we got a Sacred Order banner. Not bad. We got a. What reaction piece is an Orc banner? Okay, it's also not bad, depending what I want to put there. But as far as the Blood Gems goes, Blood Shield, gosh. Blush Shield goes. Skinwalkers, I'm not going to be utilizing much. Barbarians, I'm also not going to be utilizing much. So, Blush Shield is more for like PvE content where I can get the extra the extra shield um, just in case. And also to obviously strip for the, the Seer composition. Okay, let's go ahead and collect the rewards here. Hopefully, we gain some Sacred Shards here. Or some decent pieces. Okay, I could triple roll into that. It could be something. Okay, that could be something too. Alright, come on. Hit me with the gold. Sacred Shard. Okay, Void Shard is solid too. I'll take that. Come on. Mm, um, It's a 5 star. I could use it. I could, but I don't think I will because I do believe I have better pieces than that. I'm definitely not going to keep that. Alright, so not bad. And I think we do have our first dungeon divers at the moment, which is that and summon rush. Okay, let's see. What I did check from the calendar is that if you do every single event without getting first place in a tournament or second place, because I think you could get it up for top two. If that's the case, you can't skip out on a single um, the summon rush event. If you skip out on a summon rush event, you're going to be stuck at 95. You can get 20 from here, and I believe you get 15 from the uh, champ chase without winning the tournament. So if you collect all 20 from Summer Rush, then you could skip out on the champ chase, and you should be able to collect, you should be able to finish the fusion or fragment summon uh, without way. But 3,500 is a lot, but it's actually not, I could have sworn this was always like around like here or something. Maybe I'm mistaken, I don't know. But 7 Sacred Shards to get all this is not that bad. I mean, ideally I wouldn't like to save my Sacred Shards for future events. So, knowing me, because at times I do get kind of clumsy with my fusions and scheduling. You know, because there's, there's so much going on in the day. You know, I'm a busy guy, you know. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm um, just making excuses. But, um, yeah, so I, I pretty much might just want to do this. Just because. So I can just give myself that cushion. Because during champ chase next week, it's going to be ancient summons. And I don't have too many ancient shards to summon to begin with. I guess I do for a free-to-play account. But um, I kind of just want to start saving up for a guaranteed event, if anything. Because I'm not really desperate for any uh, champions at the moment. Unless for like a, a Duchess or something like that. Or a Harima or Cavalexes, which is actually the case right now. So maybe I can land on a, a Cavalex. So... I think I'm going to be summoning 7 Sacred Shards for this and get it out of the way. I think that's the play. So, here we go guys. We got 8 Sacred Shards, but I'm only going to summon 7. Let's 
get something amazing, please. There you go. It doesn't look like people are getting anything too crazy here. Burgum Car Fusion. V6. Oh, that's uh, Ascended. Lysandra's cool. Noctis cool. Mm, Dracomorph. This person got Dracomorph. Another fusion. Yannicka free. Oh, that's that's not uh that's not from the shards. Suzerain Katon, Karato, Rashkar, Skullord. Yeah, um, Cavalix. Okay. So it looks like people are hitting on the 10x summons, but I mean, we usually get scammed. Who knows, right? We'll see. So, Plarium, bless his account. Hit us with the gold. Husk is good. You know what? I think this might be my second Husk. And Husk is really, really good for Hydra Boss because he's got the, the max damage here on the AoE. So that's really, really strong against Hydra Boss particularly. So I think that's a win so far. Okay. Okay, a Call Brawler I already have and I'm not going to use. I just noticed something here that they added here. What is this? Lore. Interesting. So they added a little lore section here at the bottom left corner. So this must be new in the recent update we just got. But he does leave a lot of poisons. Cup brother, that is. Can we get a legendary champion? We don't want a Kytus. No, thank you. Come on. Hit us with the gold, Plarium. All it takes is one, right? Just guard. Oh, see, he does have the attack down and the provoke uh, AoE, I believe. Yeah. And some shields. Or even his defense and increased attack. It's kind of interesting. It's like two of the opposites in one ability. I'm not really sure who would really benefit off of increasing defense and attack at the same time. But I guess it kind of just hits on every other champion. Some champions might want more defense, some champions might want more attack. Oh, I thought that was gold, guys. I thought that was it. This guy looks like kind of a new-ish guy. Okay, I, I think I might have already had him. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I did have him. Interesting. He looks really cool. He actually looks like a legendary champion, right? He looks really cool. All right, come on. Here's the gold. Hit us with the gold. No. Okay, this is a really, really good bear out of the uh, the two bears in Skinwalkers. He does have an AoE attack down in his ability, and he does have a turn meter manipulation out of it in his ability as well, a little bit, as well as an increased cooldown. So he's really good in Faction Wars. Really solid. So I got one more here, and I... It looks like they're not going to give us a legendary. Clarium. Okay, there you go. Venom Mage, I already have him. So, yeah, there you go. Seven Sacred Shards. Total bust. It's not a 2x summon, so it's not like I was expecting a legendary out of the Sacred Shards. But I'm just glad we got this out of the way. Now, it's just smooth sailing from here. So I don't have to worry about as much not getting some of the fragments because I can... Well, worst case scenario, I can just summon on the summon the Champ Chase to get those extra few points because that's towards the end of the calendar and I should be good to go. But I'm going to make sure to complete every single event here on out. Okay. All right. It's going to happen. So we do have a dungeon divers along with a dragon, I think. Perfect. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. And I do have some more stuff here. I do want to summon. So let's get this out of the way too. <laughs> Come on. Hit us with the gold, Plarium. If we can't get gold out of those shards, hopefully we can get one out of here. The soul stones. No. No, just hit us with a bunch of rares. <laughs> okay. Nothing too interesting. Come on. Not even an epic, man. Where is the gold? Hit me with the gold right now. Right now, Plarium. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, man. Whoa, we got a Renegade. I think I already had our two-star, but... Yikes. Yikes, guys. Okay, I didn't... Oh, I think I... Yeah, I did have her. I did have her. That is a total bust, if I say so myself. There we go. Oh, I did get some sick artifact pieces, guys. I want to show you one piece that I'm waiting to upgrade. Just one piece here. That's going to be insane. I think this is us. Yes. Triple speed 
on the perception. If I can land on accuracy here or another speed, God tier, God tier piece. But I'm gonna be waiting for a uh, uh, artifact enhancement to take it to 16. So for now, I'm just gonna take something random, maybe something new that'll be pop up easier. Okay, let's go with this. Yikes. I could still triple into that and then potentially reroll, even though I don't, it's really hard to come by the ores, but yeah, it could happen. All right, so like I said, there is a dragon tournament going on right now, as along with the dungeon divers, and I haven't done this in a while, so I don't know if I'm if I'm able to do this because I do haven't fully leveled up now. Because last time the issue was he was very low level, so he wasn't able to tank the hit. But I guess we could do a test run to see if it works now. Hopefully it does. And if I don't land one of the debuffs here from the Lydia, then it's it's a little bit slower. But we usually do get by the ways, no problem. Okay. 13 seconds to the boss is fantastic. Now we just gotta survive this. And we should be okay. Oh, okay. You know, them dying is fine. Ooh, him dying is the issue. If he dies, it's, it's really, really bad. But it looks like, yeah, it looks like we might be okay. Oh, that's a very hard hit. Yeah, we got close, but it's not quite ready yet. So this one, we're not ready to do. This one, hmm, bad affinity, we're not ready to do. This one here, again, bad affinity, we're not ready to do. And this one here, this one has actually decent affinity. So this one we might be able to do. So I think stage seven is the one we're stuck at. Like what's missing right now is I need more HP on this guy. I need more HP on Staltus. And then we should be good. Because if I could land an attack down, that could help out too with that hit we're taking. Because that, that hit really, really hurts. So maybe, maybe I should start with an A1 on this guy. Maybe, right? Because if I land that attack down, but it's not 100% either, so that's still a problem. Okay, see, like if I land that from the get-go, then maybe we don't take all that damage and die instantly, right? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, he's, he's just a lot weaker right now. Well, I gotta wait for the slam to really know. Okay, beautiful so we know this will work fine right but i want to try this one more time problem is he's not in yeah that's not a very high percentage so if i miss on that it's a fail but well, sometimes i could still win though you know hmm i guess we could just try it out let's just try so we're gonna open with the a1 here right and okay let's see Because I would say without doing this right here with the attack down, I probably win maybe like one out of every five. So if I may, if I'm able to land the attack down, okay, we did land it. Then I think it's still not going to be like a 97% win rate. So probably not the most ideal. Yeah, see, he's still alive. That's really good. Still alive, landing the poisons, and we're keeping it going. Yeah. So that's the issue. We keep we land the attack down. Okay, never mind. <laughs> We're in trouble, guys. Oh god. Not like this, man. If only this guy had an attack down. If this guy had an attack down, this would be easy. Okay, that was not the issue. Okay, not fixed. Not fixed. Confirmed. Okay, so we're going back to how we had it. And yeah. Okay. So I guess safe to say that we're going to be just farming the stage 7, which is also still fine, which is great. Like, all the energy is the same for stage 1 through 10 for the hard dungeon. And like I said in the past, guys, if you're able to farm hard dungeon spider, hard dungeon dragon, hard dungeon ice golem, hard dungeon fire knight, even stage 1, there's no point of ever going back to stage 25 normal, uh, whatever dungeon you're doing. Because the, the drop rate percentage of all your 
pieces is still the same as far as five stars and six stars goes even the rarity is the same or or stage one of heart is better if anything because you're getting the mythic piece also so as far as five and six star drop chance is the same that's why i say if you're able to do stage one hard don't even go back to stage uh, 25 of normal that's why you see me doing this here because i was well i was doing stage one for a little while but right now we're able to do a little bit better so it's just higher percentage chance of getting mythic pieces and easy yeah so we're going to be farming this for most of the day so thank you so much for watching guys hope you guys have a great rest of your day hope you guys have a great weekend and if you guys are summoning your shards then i hope you guys pull something amazing if you guys are looking for one of these and i hope you get it and don't get robbed like i did right plarium do not rob these people with their shards and pulling all right don't do it so yeah thank you so much for watching once again if you guys enjoy my content please make sure to subscribe hit that like button and i'll see you all in the next video